In this tutorial, we're going to replace the label of a bottle that is moving. To do so, we start with the tracking tool. We locate the tracker on the neck of the bottle and run the tracking. We add a Comp 3D effect to the timeline in order to stabilize the shot. We set the background parameter to No and apply the tracking in Stabilize mode. The best way to check the accuracy of the tracking is to apply any tracking in Stabilize mode. We get a well-made label that we can compose over the original. We add a scope effect in which we draw the mask with the shape interface. With Create Shape, we draw point by point the vectorial shape that will be the outline of the bottle. Once the bottle has been masked, we compose over the stabilized shot with a new Comp 3D. Selecting layer 1 in the new Comp 3D, we adjust the pivot, positioning it on the neck of the bottle. In free transform editing mode, we scale the bottle and begin to position it. From within the scope effect, we add a shape to eliminate the base of the bottle. This new shape must be combined in subtract mode. The bottle rotates three-dimensionally. To simulate this movement, we use the warp effect. Before starting this, we eliminate the animation of the grade parameter. Once within the warp interface, we define a new mesh. This new mesh must have the smallest number of subdivisions in order to be able to create the subdivisions line by line. The first step is to draw the outer frame of the mesh with the inclination of the bottle to be warped. Next, we add as many lines and columns as necessary to contain and control the shape of the bottle. Finally, we add some external lines that will come in useful later. By selecting the control points, we can hide the rest to be able to focus better on the shape of the bottle. Although they're semi-transparent, the additional lines will function as controls for the curvature of the lines of the bottle shape. Once the shape has been traced, we copy the source mesh to the destination. Now we warp the bottle so that it seems that it is rotated on its horizontal axis. Once this warp has been done, we return to the visual editor. 
In Auto Key mode, we add the keyframes that control the amount of warping from the grade parameter. If the warp is not convincing, we can return to the warping interface and improve the shape of the destination mesh. With the second Comp3D, we animate the position and rotation in the Z-axis of the layer of the bottle in Auto Key mode. We go back to the timeline to generate a mask of the character's hand, adding onto the final composition a new scope effect. In this effect we generate a shape in order to rotoscope the hand, which will have to be maintained over the label. To do this correctly, the evaluation level must be defined in the tree over the original clip without stabilization. Adding the keyframes necessary to this shape, we will have the movement of the hand copied. The combination mode for the hand should be subtract, with the alpha input in fill mode. A second shape will contain the shape of the bottle with an external softness in intersect mode. In the timeline, we copy the original clip and set it as the background of a third composition. We will see the bottle with the new label is still stabilized, so we should return to the tracking interface to apply the coordinates in move mode in this third composition. This way, we have undone the stabilization that helped us to do the warping and rotoscoping. Let's review the process step by step. The bottle with the correct label is a fixed frame that we have masked with scope. The warper effect is used to trace the original shape of the bottle in the source mesh, so that in the destination mesh, we can define a warping that simulates the horizontal rotation. The grade parameter is animated and synchronized with the movement of the original bottle. In the original clip, a stabilization has been applied to make the composition of the label that warps on a less mobile object. The second scope is used to rotoscope the hand holding the bottle. Finally, over a copy of the original clip, we compose the warped and rotoscoped label with a third Comp3D that has the same tracking coordinates as the stabilization, but this time in move tracking mode, so that the initial stabilization is undone.